Hey, our friends, we're going to draw a realistic tree frog today, a red-eyed tree frog. Ribbit. All right, checkers, you got your marker? It's yeah. over there. All right, we hope you guys are going to follow along with us. We're going to draw him facing us, and he's going to be super cool, kind of cute. And, but we're still going to draw them realistically, okay? Okay. And red-eyed tree frogs look really cool, but you have to color them because they're not going to look like a red-eyed tree frog unless you got color on them. Yeah. So we're going to start with our markers, and we'll color them at the end. We're going to start with his eyes, and we're going to have his head kind of tipped to the side. So on this side, we're going to draw, we're going to draw kind of a C shape over here. So we draw it kind of big. And then we're going to draw the other side of it, and it's going to be also a C-shape, but not as round. This is going to make his eyes look like they're kind of poking out. And if you want, you can just make a simple, uh, simple oval. Okay. Now we're going to we're going to space his eyes out. We're going to draw another C-shape, backward C-shape over here, and then a smaller or a more subtle C-shape on this side. And then that's going to make this eye look like it's poking out the other way. Good. Okay. Now let's draw the inside of his eyes and they kind of look like cat eyes. So we can do a little point up at the top and a point down at the bottom. Okay. So now with those uh, points in his eye, we can connect them with kind of a football shape um, design or an oval shape. They kind of look like cat eyes, huh? Mm -hmm. Then we can fill that in. And then we're going to do the same on this eye. We can do little, two little points. Do a C shape. Football. And connect them. And then fill them in. Good job, dude. It looks awesome. Looks like a frog, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. No. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to do the top of his eyes. So this is how it connects into his body. So we'll do a little uh, line that starts kind of on the middle, in the middle of his eye, it goes up and then comes back down. We'll do the same on this side. There we go. Now we're going to connect those two with a curved line across the top. Now it's looking like a frog. Uh, <laughs> no? Okay. The top part. <laughs> okay, now we're going to, we're going to finish his eye on the bottom. So we'll come in just a little bit. This is little details totally make his eyes look like they're going to pop out of his skull. Okay, and then we'll come back down for his lips. So we're going to bump back out on both sides. Okay, and then we're going to draw his lips. So now we're going to curve up a little towards the middle. So we can have a little point there that we're going to curve up to, and we're going to come back down. So here we go. Curve up, back down, and into his cheek. Awesome. Okay, now we can do his bottom lip and we'll just do a little kind of curve and a little curve on this side. <laughs> awesome. Okay, now let's draw his body. So we can do another curve that comes out and kind of S's down. Okay. Got it. And so we just curve down a little bit more, a little S line. And an S line just means it curves one direction and then it turns and curves the other direction also. So now we're going to hook back up, kind of do his belly and U shape. And I started coming back towards his top lip, but we're going to stop there. Okay, now let's draw his left arm in. So we'll come over here just under his eye and we'll come out of his eye and draw his first leg. And kind of end just below his belly. Good. Okay. And we'll come back up here. And we'll draw his, the other side of his, uh, his leg or his arm. Okay. Now let's draw his toes. And tree frogs have the coolest toes. So they come out. And then we're going to do a big kind of bump on his, or pad on his toe. And that's so they grab onto things, huh? And we're going to come out and we're going to do the next toe. Big bump out. Back in. 
we'll do another one. Big pad and back end. Ah, he looks great, dude. Okay, now let's draw his knee. And we're gonna draw a big kind of C shape. It comes out and back in. Now I'm gonna imagine that going through his, his front leg and then into his body. See how that looks like it's overlapped? Mm -hmm. Now this leg looks like it's behind for his back leg. Then we can do a little line right here for to split it so it looks like it's bent. Okay, now let's draw his toes and we're gonna do a lot of overlapping. So we draw a little line, comes out over here, draw a big toe. Good, and then I'm gonna come back through his leg. We're gonna come back, put another toe in there. And you kinda just, you gotta imagine drawing behind whatever is in front. In this case, it's his front leg. And then I'm gonna draw his last toe back into his body. Yeah, oh, those are long toes. Yeah, that's awesome. He, he kind of does have, they do have long toes, so that's, it looks perfect into his body. <laughs> Good, man, I love it. Okay, now let's draw his right, his right front leg. And so we'll come down just a little bit for his body, and then we're gonna bend out. And he's gonna have this leg, this kind of front leg, or arm sticking out a little bit more. And then we'll come down, draw that little upside down L shape. Okay, and then we're gonna come back up here and we'll do the inside of his arm. Come up or out. And we're gonna come back and do this line. Now let's, good, good job. Okay, now let's draw this foot or front foot and we're gonna draw it pointing in. So I'm gonna draw that toe and that's gonna be his middle toe. And then we're gonna draw his other toe over here and this is gonna connect into his, into his arm. And then we'll draw the third toe over here behind. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Kind of cool. It looks like his, his hand's kind of twisted, or his wrist is twisted. All right, good job, man. Okay, now let's, let's connect his body into, into his arm. So right there, you can finish his little belly going into his front arm. Okay, now let's do his back leg, his last back leg. We'll do the same thing and create this shape comes out over behind his front leg and comes back into his body. Good job, and then we can kind of split it. We can draw a line that comes up, right through the middle. Good, and then let's draw his foot coming out over here. So I'm gonna draw a big toe and coming out do another one. And if we go too fast. You can always pause the video. Yes, you can always pause the video, look at what we're doing, try to match it, and then start the video up again when you've caught up. Mm -hmm. Looks awesome. Maybe Did you get it? No, no, no. <laughs> I can't see your hands in the way. <laughs> Awesome, that looks really cool, dude. Okay, now we have to color him. He's gonna look a lot more like a tree frog once we do. Okay, let's pick out our colors. Okay, Chuckers, we got our colors picked out. We've got a bunch of colors this time. So we got a dark green, we're gonna use this grass green. And our art friends, we're using Prismacolor pencils and we'll leave a link where you can purchase the set that we have. But if you don't have these color, this uh, brand, you can use any color pencils and you can actually use crayons too or oil pastels. It'll work also the same. Okay, we're using grass green for the dark, brown, uh, dark green. We're using a spring green, which is kind of a yellow green for the light green. And then a peacock blue. And we also got yellowed orange. We're gonna use for his uh, feet. We got white and we got crimson red and we're gonna use a dark umber for some shading and then this cream color that we're gonna use for 
under his belly. And you could just use a light, light yellow. All right, checkers, you ready to get started? Yeah. Okay, first step, we're gonna use the spring green and we're gonna color all of the green parts of his body. And we're gonna do it kind of light. So we're just gonna do a light layer like this. We're not gonna press very, uh, very hard. Good job, checkers. Okay, now we're going to use this darker green or grass green, and we're going to add some shading. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to draw kind of a diagonal line that comes to the middle of his nose, and the light's going to be shining this way, so we're going to be shading the left side of his body. And so from this line over, I'm going to color it in a little bit darker with this grass green. Then I'm also going to shade over here on the top of this eye. So it looks a little more 3D and it's popping out of his head. <laughs> okay, the last thing I'm going to do with this green is I'm going to do a little shadow right here. And this is going to be for his nostrils. So we're just a little shadow on the front of his nose. Okay, I forgot one last thing. We got to shade uh, this left leg in because this side is going to be all in shadow. So we want it to be a lot darker green, just like that. See how now it looks like the light's shining this way and this leg is in shadow. Good job. Okay, now we're going to add the blue. And this is a cool little pattern that he has on his, on his uh, front leg. So we're going to add the blue. Uh, down his arm and we're going to go right up against the green so we'll come down the side of his arm on the inside of his arm and then we're going to blend it into the orange a little bit later on into his toes so we'll do that and then after we do that we'll come back behind his leg and do this leg his back leg and do it down the side the inside of his leg and back here. Okay, and then I'm also gonna come over here and we'll do the same on this side. All right, okay, now we're gonna get our yellowed orange and we're gonna fill in all of his feet and we're gonna do it very solid. So we're gonna press pretty hard, okay? So there's no texture left when we're done. Okay, so the next step that I did was I used our red and I just added some shading to our feet, but you can leave it just the way that you have it, okay? Okay, the next step we're gonna do is use the red and we're gonna color in his eyes. And what I wanna do is do a little reflection in his eyes. So I'm gonna color in everything super solid. You know what, we kinda need a brighter red. All right, here we go, this one's a lot brighter. So we're gonna use this color and it's called Poppy Red. And we're gonna fill in his eye, but I'm gonna leave a little white shine up here at the top, okay? And then we're gonna come over here, we'll do the same on this side. Fill it in, leave a little white reflection like that. And then I'm gonna do just a super light layer on top of that. So you can start doing that and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. We'll get the white and I'm gonna do a white layer on top, but I'm also gonna go over his eye. You see how cool that is? Mm -hmm. It looks like the reflection goes over the black part because we can color on top of the marker. I'm gonna do that on this side too and it makes his eyes look super shiny and wet. So the next step we're doing is we're using this cream color. We're coming in here and we're just gonna blend some of his belly so it doesn't just look plain white. That look awesome. Mm -hmm. There you go. And then I'm also going to use this orange to add a little more shading to his belly so it looks a little darker.
Okay, we added a little more brown shading underneath his belly just to try and make it look more round and 3D. And now we're gonna use this uh, chartreuse color, or it's a kind of a lime green, and we're gonna go over the whole, uh, the green part of his body to just blend it in. We didn't talk about this color at the very beginning, but we're just gonna smooth out all of the shading that we did so it just looks nice and smooth. Chakras, good job, dude. Give me five, man. I love your shading. I love how realistic he looks. The shading makes him look very 3D. Yeah. He looks a lot more like a tree frog, doesn't he? Uh -huh. With the color. <laughs> you promise you had fun? Yeah. We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing your tree frogs with us, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Ribbit. 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 Ribbit.